Hello everyone, welcome to the Tuesday Fun Bridge Points Tournament. We are used to play 10 boards with match point scoring on Tuesdays. 268 players registered, a little bit less than normal, uh, but 213 in the final rank already. So let's see how I will do. Goulash hand 6-5, so three primary losers, three aces missing and queen of hearts. That's enough, you don't need to do the high card point count. Well, the issue on the other hand is to show the hand. And I would like to find a fit in hearts and then potentially ask for key cards if partner shows some extra. Otherwise, I probably show both suits and then maybe even free no trumps will be an option if this is a misfit and partner bits a spade after my one heart so let's see okay one no trump that's a balanced hand but denies four card spades um here on fun bridge so this way we know opponents have nine cards together and both are passing being non-vulnerable which is uh pretty strange because if they have a 9 card fit, one of them must have minimum 5 spades. So he could overcall either 1 spade directly to 1 club. But also 1 spade from west will can be relatively weak after 1 hard. So this is a big difference. I can bid 3 diamonds here to show forcing to game with 5-5. Five five. Well, standardly that would be my bid. because I would like to show the top of the hand. Contrary to that, uh, Arjun is not very good in evaluating the hand based on what you promise. So I can ask as well if partner has minimum or extras, if he has hearts or not. But if partner doesn't have a heart fit actually, then we must have a diamond fit. And suddenly two aces might be enough because I can wrap the third round in hearts. So I think three diamonds is actually a valid bit here. Okay, four hearts, it's showing a fed. Now I need two aces and a queen. If I ask for key cards, is there a chance that we are going down? Well, from five, I mean, definitely there is. Because partner just might have the black suits. But this way, since he jumped, see, and this is the minimum and the maximum. 12 high card points is not a minimum if it is two aces and the queen of hearts. That's actually the super maximum, what I need. So very tough here, um, but partner showed to preference in hearts. I will try to ask, but I'm not very happy about it. Okay, this is the worst case scenario. Partner has only one ace. Let's hope that he has the Queen of Hearts, otherwise it's uh, gone. Okay, Pardon has the Queen of Hearts, but more importantly here, he has Ace King in clubs and opponents didn't cash the Ace of Spades. So in match points, this is quite crucial. I try to cash two rounds. Probably I will cash three rounds anyway. Can this be six? Well, I already played played one. This is bad. Okay, I should have drawn three rounds. But maybe diamond splits for one. And then this last trump will be used to rough the diamonds. So let's see. But it's not very probable. So I missed an over trick not drawing three rounds. Oh, I missed it. Okay, well, this is a big difference. So I should have played three rounds of hearts and ignore, uh, then cash those clubs, and only afterwards play the diamond. If diamond splits, that's fine. I felt that maybe I just want to play a diamond there, uh, but that was stupid. Okay, I was not focused well enough, and once I cashed one club and the jack dropped, it was too late, I just had to play it. 45% uh, super sad that I missed 
three and a half percent for I will call it a stupidity here because my plan didn't give me anything extra I was not thinking I was just clicking and this is a very important um, lesson for all of us focus first board focus I lost it okay but what to do next forget this mistake because it's not like a disaster 45 percent and focus on the next boards and this time pay more attention to small things make a plan I didn't have a clear plan I didn't say it out loud okay so now the plan is spades or no trumps kind of we have a short suit um, for slam that's F definitely useful to have a singleton if pardon doesn't have values and since we have four plus two losers the slam can be easily there I want to show my spades so that's the first round pardon didn't super accept and now the question is do I show my side suit or do I just bid three no trumps and hope opponents will not guess in my system I have two options how to make a choice so the direct three no trumps would be pick a game I have 5 free free 2 I have no trump oriented uh, hand so you choose you decide I showed 5 spades and I prefer no trumps uh, with the other option where you have forcing to game then you can bid the other major so here free hearts would show I have forcing to game if you have a fit we definitely play for spades but we might play a slam and if you bid free clubs free diamonds that can actually be that we can play a slam in the minor uh, this would be the perfect uh, situation for such bids because if partner has only doubles and spade and we have a club good club fit partner has red aces well then we can have six clubs while free no trumps will be on the edge or going down so plenty of options um, since I don't have this luxury to have an understanding with my partner um, I kind of want to bid still a two-seater now partner has a fed and I would like to bid four diamonds as shortness but we don't have that I can control and maybe if partner doesn't control in diamonds he will have enough this is super difficult with Arjun to bid these kind of slams I hate it yeah I'll just go for spades and play with the field because if I cannot find out the slam uh, it will be a pure gambling okay partner has a good hand yet uh, it's not enough to make a slam because I have to get rid of both clubs sorry both hearts clubs are covered the ace of diamonds is covering my singleton so what to do I would like to rough those diamonds and potentially I can rough three of them if I rough if I play a reverse dummy and I rough three diamonds I will actually may make my hand shorter and therefore I can dump the heart on the club okay so I have a plan this way I need entries to north so one I get with the diamond ace rough one I will get uh, with the ace of clubs and I will rough the second round one I can get the ace of hearts rough the third one and then I can draw the trumps or my entry is the trump so 
I will do it the first way that I need to cross with the diamond. So this is like a sure thing. This is a clear rough. And also spades might break 4-1. So then I cross one round with spades. That's guaranteed that it's a must. Now I will rough high. Spades splits. And because on the next round they might discard a club, I have more clubs, so first I cross with the club to rough another diamond. So now I used three of my trumps to rough and still partner gets three trump tricks. So this is the reverse dummy kind of that I'm trying to cover the losers from dummy by roughing and the rest are just honors. So see at the end pretty easy even if opponents didn't lead trumps I will have uh, communication by using those trumps after diamond lead it would be the easiest after a hard lead it will be the hardest. So let's see 77 percent 38 players bid the slam so uh, let's check it out if or what will happen if I bid four diamonds here. Partner bids four hearts, but who knows? If I ask, partner shows three plus queen. That would be relatively easy, although it's 14 high card points already. I would need to do something with that heart, uh, but okay. It's possible. 6 4, and not many defensive tricks. So, this hand is uh, really strong offensively, and really making it measurable is that it has five theoretical losers, five primary missing honors, but that's the offensive uh, value of this hand, depending on establishing those diamonds. So, by counting the theoretical losers, you're expecting to score the length tricks. You're expecting to score the queen. But neither the diamond length trick is sure, neither the diamond queen is a sure trick. In hearts, uh, it's looking pretty good. But thinking defensively, I have like one hard trick if partner has a fit. Maybe two, not more. So if I overcall a hard, they have time to show the spades. If partner has nothing, okay, if partner has one ace and the king of diamonds, we have a good chance to make a game. And I don't think that we will reach it. So maybe my bid is just four hearts to push. Because even if I get doubled, they might have four spades. And maybe I push them, they double or bid four spades. Now it's a misfit and we push them too high. So for me, this is either one heart or four hearts. Okay, so now maybe we found a cheap sacrifice oh or we pushed them fifth level it might be even better so let's lead the king ask for count six that looks like a four card but i'm not in a hurry to play a diamond in this hand because although declare might have five clubs he will discard two diamonds we have one. Okay, actually, am I in a hurry? One club, four spades. It really looks like East has singles and hard. Four, 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 one. He will open one diamond. 
So it's pretty guaranteed that E's has five clubs. Therefore, diamonds will disappear. If Barton has doubles and king. They might disappear if Barton has club owner as well. So I'm going to be aggressive here. Because if I give away a diamond, they have those clubs and they will always discard it. So, okay, that didn't work out, unfortunately. And I didn't realize the second thing, actually. They have only 4 4 spade fit. So I think I potentially should have shortened Declare. I think that was a mistake. Because if Pardon has a spade trick, I needed to shorten one of them. No, partner can do it. Partner doesn't want to do it. So he has a natural trump trick. Okay. Now partner can do it. This is like super strange. If partner played a hard he makes the nine of spades. What's that play of playing a spade? Does he have the club control? No, he doesn't. I mean, this was like super easy to play a hard and score one more trick and beat five spades twice. Also, bidding five hearts over four spades with ace, jack, ten in spades is pretty stupid. But right now, I think I won with the bidding. Because if I bid one hard, I don't think that we will sacrifice in five hearts. 95%, but we could score 500. 99, so there is not such a big difference there. Two hearts doubled, what is this? Like one no trump, you get doubled and then you bid two hearts. Okay, so this is a lucky bluff playing against computers but I mean this was pretty strange partner has ace jack 9 and he could just play the second round of hearts have guaranteed he knew this complete situation and he just didn't get an extra trick for 200 I don't mind because I have a top score but um, it's pretty sad actually that it's a clear situation which is measurable and Arjun still misdefend this. Okay, 14 count. I should have probably played the hard. Give it. Uh, see, again, I was a little bit too hard with the diamond. I analyzed well the situation for the declare, but I didn't realize that Barton has four trumps and Dummy has small trumps. So I should have actually shortened declare. So we share that mistake. 14 count, 3 plus 1, doubles and jack. A 5 card suit on the other hand. Positioning will be better my way. And bidding after 1 no trump seems a bit easier here on Fun Bridge. So I'll upgrade, but I'm really not very happy to upgrade this hand. Normally, I wouldn't do that. So this way, partner shows four spades and five hearts. Now my partner is, uh, my hand is good. Doubleton spade, I might potentially rough the third round of spades. Still, I need to cover those losers. Hopefully, opponents will lead a diamond. So this way, partner with the small end convention transferred the, his five card, and now he's asking for key cards. I have three key cards, so that's 1430 Blackwood. Key cards for hearts. Pardon is enough. Hopefully, my upgrade is good enough. Okay, so the club situation covers this suit. I can draw two rounds. I can establish the clubs. Because either they split 3 free, free, if they split 5 1, we are in troubles. I don't think they lead from the queen yet. Uh, I need to rough 
spade so I can do that and I still need to rough those clubs if club splits 5-1 do I have a chance they don't split 4-2 because the lead of three of clubs is either 3, 5 or 1 so I can draw two rounds of trumps ending north how about if heart splits 4-1 okay a slam not that in match points you need to focus on every single board but in slam you must be very careful I might need to drop the diamond but if any suits split wrongly so this is a pretty tough bid because you need to guess uh, which contract or which suit can actually split badly and if I can play for it drawing two rams is fine but then I block the suit can rough the spade but then I need to establish those clubs establishing clubs can get rid of a diamond and a spade if heart splits badly I need singleton queen jack 10 in east and then I need to finesse that that would still be um, pretty difficult because I really need that rough if uh, if they rough the club so they split 5-1 they might rough from 3 so I actually want to unblock the suit okay uh, not terribly yet but right now I need to establish those spades And at the same time, play the diamond finesses. Okay, this is tough. I need to guess it right. Okay, this is this is giving me a little bit extra chance. They cover now. I can finesse the ten actually. I have to play the diamond finesse anyway. So maybe I just cash the ease of hearts. I need the split. And then play the diamond finesse. And then maybe I can uh, play a squeeze. Okay, this is the bad case scenario. See, so that's why again I should have cashed two rounds of trumps before cashing the club. Okay, even the diamond is wrong. Everything is wrong. Now I don't need the spade at least. But queen 10 in spades is on side. Not playing a slam, that was okay. Yeah, but I understand north. This is not like such a bad slam. This is actually a pretty good slam. Well, based on a... Well, I didn't need the diamond finesse. I need the splits. I need a hard split and I need a reasonable club split or something else. It's pretty plausible. If I cash two rounds of trumps before I cash the clubs, I'm... I have problems in communication. I would need to win the first one and play the Jack of Spades immediately. Cover. Ace of Hearts, hard towards the King. Rough the... Sp or finesse the Spade. Rough the Spade and... I have to lose the Diamond anyway. 5% because I upgraded the hand to 15. And then... 
I couldn't do anything. I could go one down, some people go down from four, so that could save me 12%. Yeah, a little bit unlucky, because sometimes these slams works for many players. Obviously, not for me, not this time. Sometimes it does. Club, diamond, spade. The spade is limited, yet not that much. We are vulnerable, and this bidding is super strange. I don't want to just give up that easily. I think I'm going to fight, although being vulnerable, points are 20-20. If nobody have fed, 1-0 Trump seems to be like an okay contract. No ace, it's problematic. One spade is for 80 or 110. If I go down one, that's minus 100. Uh, yet, I feel that I can make a no Trump. And if I go down one, I think they make 110. Okay, so 12 opposite 10. That's relatively fine. Not that many aces, though. Um, this is possibly lead from a queen. That's absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to establish club tricks. Perfect. So that's three, six. I've got six tricks already. And I think I'm going to play a diamond. So now let's count how many loser tricks I have. Because I have six tricks, I can establish the heart and that's uh, relatively easy. Still, I need entries to my hand. Uh, we're going to lose two diamond tricks, ace king, ace of hearts, Ace of clubs, that's four, and a four spade, that's five. So my top potential is actually eight tricks. So I'm going for it. Okay. This is absolutely wonderful. So where's the Ease of Hearts? It's probably with West, because West had King of Diamonds, Queen of Spades, and Ace of Clubs. That's only nine. So the Ace of Hearts is with West. Therefore, I can just play a diamond, just in case that the 10 drops. Okay, 10 drops. But it doesn't matter because they have the four spades with West. So I'm going to make only one more trick. But 120 is very crucial. Because if they make or if they go down one for minus 100, I make 120. So that can potentially be a top score. 90%. Okay, I got it back. And back over 60%, even with one bottom. And a big mistake here on board number one. Still 3.5%. So I could have 66% already. How of the tournament? Still good. Even with a bad score and a mistake. That's what solid bridge uh, brings you. Everybody makes a mistake. If you make only one per tournament, that's fine. Okay, with 10 boards, you try to make one only every second tournament. But again, it depends on your target. Where is your average? Where is your par? Um... Okay, one spade pass, one no. Spades split. So on two spades, I will need to discard two other cards. I really want to work on hearts. If West has doubles in honor, no matter what others have, it's pretty okay if partner has 10 or one of those honors. In the minors, we have no idea. East can have any suit, including hearts. 
Okay, so now we have four heart tricks. How about honor count? 13 plus my 9, 22. Partner has king, queen, and hearts at 27. 13 points left. So partner still has two extra honors. Who do we want to be on a trick? I think I do. But the question, do I lead a club, diamond or a spade? No idea. Still partner can have two honors. So you want to figure it out. I probably want to be in a trick to see what he's discards. He's discarding twice. It looks like he has only two hearts two spades, so five, four minors, maximum two spades, five, four, six, three, even seven, three. If I catch the ace, pardon can unblock actually. Okay, here we go, pardon unblocked. So therefore he wants an entry and he's discarded a spade. So I feel like I need to play the spades for because if partner has king jack I don't have that many entries oh here we go partner has a four card absolutely wonderful I should have played low actually but now partner has a hard and I can play one more spade through Probably need to duck those diamonds. Okay, uh, singleton spade. If I win, I think they will have the rest. Now partner is end played unfortunately. But I will get the diamond trick anyway. So we get either the diamond or a club. So this was um, I feel this was a good defense for scoring 200. First of all good lead, then go, go to switch. If I switch to clubs I will not have enough entries to play the spades so many times. Especially if I play the hearts first this should be a top score 90 percent see we have eight tricks we scored eight tricks happy still I made a minor mistake I lost one trick okay so if I find the spade lead immediately or a club then we can catch the hearts and we can score one more trick I don't mind that much. I take my 90% score. Okay, 17 count. A huge hand. 4 plus 1, 5 card suit. Yet I would love to play no trumps from partner's hand. Basically no matter what, what partner has. The issue is that I'm most likely not able to. So I just bid normal and overcall an O-Trump. Okay, this is four card hearts. At least seven points. See if they lead a spade, that's problematic. Yeah, but I just have to hope partner has one ace. That's kind of guaranteed. Spade, okay, so five, eight, nine. They have four spades in the ease of hearts. I 
I guess nothing I can do. Always first cash the long suit. Maybe he discards a spade. Who knows? But he already discarded two diamonds. So I don't think that there is a chance to score 10 tricks. Luckily 9 tricks from top and it didn't matter which hand declares. Because East has the spade lead anyway. 59% good for an average score see and even with a bottom I'm top 10 bottom and a mistake on seven boards and I'm still top 10 hmm that's strange guys that's really strange on seven boards to miss guess one and make one mistake still be there it doesn't tell that people play good bridge in general. If I'm that high with two bad boards on seven. Three more. Let's not do one more. Ten count, but we're vulnerable opposite not. This is very tricky. Five top losers and the Queen of the Queen of Hearts. Also the diamonds. We cannot count it only as one loser. If this is a fed, they will always overbid with spades. So I don't want to I don't want to bid here. I will pass. Okay, now I will double. Or I can bid three hearts. I think I'm going to double and if partner bids three clubs I bid three diamonds to shows diamonds and hearts. I play for a plus score. So let's hope we found the best fit. Okay, double ten ace, fair days. Unfortunately well if I bit we have a game it seems. Four hearts is really good okay now they don't know about that many but seems like hearts plays badly let's hope heart splits 5-1 even 4-2 is pretty good he will let the 8 right so all hearts are good so I don't want to repeat my mistake. Ha! Okay, this way I stole the important thing because now I have 170, not just 150. They didn't know about my 5-5 five, five distribution. They they expected only 5-4. So this duck, uh, he felt quite safe with the ace. 82%, okay. Reaching 5 diamonds, that was the tops. So bidding 2 spades, 2 no. 3 diamonds, now they bid 3 spades. And 5 diamonds from north, because they shoved a shortness in spades. Ah, oh, this is pretty tricky. And also not that easy to make, even 5 diamonds, if they don't play the hearts, or if they don't cover the jack with the queen. That was really bad. Okay, improved a bit. Two boards to go. 11 count, again being vulnerable. I don't want to bid, they probably find spades. I'm ready for no trumps. 
this is like pretty clear what to do and they jumped they didn't invite if they invited i know that partner will have an honor so that could potentially be a double because i can establish three hard tricks and i've got those my entries so i have five tricks in my hand the only issue is that they can get nine before we get five so far it seems they make the club tricks and maybe four spades for clubs no so four clubs three spades and two hearts that's nine Okay, well that was the worst case scenario to discard the club. So they make nine. Luckily I didn't double. We couldn't we couldn't get any extra. So this should be average. They could get some extra. Four, five, six. They play the jack, seven, eight. They need three spade tricks. So playing low towards the queen is a good way. If they play the jack and partner covers, we get three tricks anyway. Didn't matter, but this time only 48% because there were a few more lucky years. Overcall two diamonds. So you lead a hard. And they cash. And now if they play a small hard, it doesn't matter. If they play the queen hard, it doesn't matter. But this way they play the club towards the nine. Steven, how are you doing this? Did you get lucky uh, with this stupidity card place? It's just stupidity. They even didn't test it like the spades good enough. Okay, anyway, I did my best. 13 count, 4 4 4 1. Opponents open in our short suit. This is, let's say, a book takeout double, but you need to realize that if opponents do not have a big fit, Barton has four, maybe five hearts as well. So it might be tough for us to find a fit. It might be tough for them. Because the suit splits badly. Yet playing two major is fine. Playing three major, uh, that's a bit difficult because we don't know if West is weak having those hearts. Mm. I double 10 bit two spades. I already did my max. Burner knows I'm short in hearts. I don't want to bid free over free. Because usually you lose 50 instead of gain 50. Uh, but based on experience on a fun bridge, it works because they don't double you. I need two honors. And they are behind. So I need like king queen. Uh, it probably works because West didn't pass. I don't think that. The another thing is if I bid free spades, I must be ready that they bid full hearts. But Argent doesn't do that. So if I bid free spades and they already show that they don't have enough, they will just let it go. And I think, yeah, it all depends if partner really has four spades. Maybe he has just three spades. And then we are in troubles. Ah, oh, this is difficult. Hmm. Passing is standard. I've got a good score. Top score is bidding free spades, I think. Or 
or double. But I don't have the defense. I just pass, but I'm not happy about it. I won't count. Oh, five card. So partner has hearts. And most likely partner has three diamonds. He's discarded the highest diamond and he must be short in one suit. Partner with five spades will probably bet three spades. So declare will try to rough the spades. I'm, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish my partner's honor. Maybe he has just the ace or ace king. Okay, but if ease has ace queen, that's fine. I would like to know who has the fourth spade. Please play it, play it if you have it. Because I'm going to be squeezed. Or playing a club will break the squeeze. Uh, why is not partner never helping? I mean, playing the diamond is the worst what he could do. If he just plays a club, he breaks the squeeze. And he must see it that I have the diamond behind. And obviously I have the club. And either it will be finessed or not. So this is disastrous play. 20%, 140. But what could I do? See, bidding free space, going down one is a top score. I knew it. I knew it. But it's just, it's just wrong. It's partner who knows. Ace King Hearts. Okay, well, partner has a bad hand actually. So we lose two clubs and some spades. I need to play one round anyway. Probably need to play two rounds. This is the way how to go. Only down one. Four top score. Too bad. Yeah, well, I want to see the final score. What will happen? If I get ninety percent, so that's seven and one, seventy one percent. Partner made a mistake of three point two. Because I couldn't play the clubs myself. So seventy one I would have sixty eight point four. If I just bid four spades as I intended to, or what I thought is the best. And 68 will be number 7th place. 
if I do the first one that would be around 72% that would be like not making a mistake and, and make some good guesses and if I did an open one no Trump an open standard um, then I can actually win it or win the tournament but congrats Federinch 76% that's uh must be basically playing and hitting hitting the same jackpots what what I did. Uh Pavel Wittenbeck 73.7 and New Seeker 73. It's all like great scores. Amazing, but Simon and Valentin and Steven leading also uh here johan devedizi vidar brandy managed to beat me congrats brandy here and then it's pretty close see that the czech squad strong Czech squad around 60 percent so we probably all made uh, a small mistake somewhere and here are the rest i will not push through the rest uh, anyway, it was an interesting tournament. Uh, switch to my channel. We will have a short, a short stream, and then I just wish you a nice evening and see you on Thursday with the M tournament. Ciao.